2 times x, and lastly, positive times positive, 2 times 3. Raise your hand if you made it that far, please. Good deal. Now we do the work piece by piece. This should give us x squared. This should give us 3x, this should give us 2x, and this should give us 6. When I combine my like terms in the middle, which you'll typically have like terms on these problems, you have a 3x and a 2x. This is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Did you get x squared plus 5x plus 6? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Let's extend the concept a little bit. What if instead of just y times y, I have something like 4y and 5y? Can we still do it? Yes. Does it still look like distribution to you? Yeah. Okay. Good. I still have the multiplication, right? Mm -hmm. It means I'm still going to multiply, and FOIL is still going to work because I have two terms times two terms. Why don't you tell me what's the first couple terms I'm going to multiply? 4y times 5y. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that out. 4y times 5y. Okay, watch carefully, please. Watch carefully. What's the next couple terms I'm going to multiply? 4y and what was it? 3 or negative 3? Negative 3. Okay, so listen. Let those signs do the work for you. Here's what I'm talking about. If you've got 4y times negative 3, a positive times a negative gives you a negative. So I'm going to write a what? Minus. The next thing I'm going to write is just the, those two terms being multiplied. So I'm going to have the 4y times the 3. Why not negative 3? Because you already took care of it. I already used that sign. I already made it minus. That's where that sign is going. Are you guys working on your own? Are you guys all right with this so far? Yeah. Are you sure? On why you have a minus there but not a negative there. Okay. Well, we've done the first two. Now let's keep going. I've got 9 times 5y. Am I going to have a plus or a minus there? Plus. Write it out. And lastly, I have a 9 times a negative 3, plus or minus, folks? Minus. Minus. And I'm going to have 9 times 3. I'm just going to write that 9 times 3. The numbers are being multiplied. I already used those signs to figure out that that's going to be a minus sign. That's how we use that to our advantage there. Raise your hand if you're okay with getting that far on this problem. Now let's continue. How much is 4y times 5y? 40y squared. Multiplying there, we can take a y times a y, get y squared. Minus how much? Minus 12y. Good, 12y plus, oh my, 45y, and then minus 27. Are there any like terms to combine? Sure. Am I going to get a y squared when I combine this? No. So I get 20y squared plus, this is a problem, these problems you can expect in your test, something like this. Yeah. Is there ever going to be like a big problem in this type of Yes. I'll show you some. Just hang on a minute. Before that, though, I want you to try on your own. Okay, work on that one. Take a few more seconds, try to wrap that up. Remember, we're taking every term in the first polynomial times every term in the second polynomial. That's what we mean when we have these parentheses next to each other means multiplication. The only way we can do that is with distribution. So show in your work, let the signs take care of themselves, then multiply each term times each term. Um, you do like you know how the, the negative is 9 to 7x? Every time you see a plus and a minus, it goes with the sign that's behind. It goes with the term that's it behind. The number, right? That this number, yeah. So this is a positive seven x times a positive five x. You should have a positive. Yeah. Positive seven x times positive four. You should have a plus. 
negative 1 times negative, uh, positive 5, you should have a minus. Negative 1 times positive 4, you should have a minus. So this should go positive plus, minus, minus. So let's look at that. I hope on your paper you get 7x times 5x. Did you get that? Yes. Also, you should have a plus 7x times 4. You see, you to let those positives make it a plus for you. Then you should have a minus, because you have a negative times a positive, 1 times 5x, and also a negative times a positive, 1 times 4. Raise your hand if you made it that far, exactly like that. Good deal. All right, working out step by step, we got 35x squared. We've got a 28x. <coughs> We've got a, oh, 1 times 5x, that's going to give you, and lastly, how much? When we combine like terms, which is usual for, for this type of distribution, we're going to have some like terms here. 35x squared plus 23x and then minus 4. Yes, no? Yes. Yeah. Kind of works out kind of nice for us, right? Yeah. Now, you know, a lot of times, I showed this to you actually off already, a lot of times people will make a mistake on this problem. They'll think it's something that's not. I know I've showed you a lot of new stuff in the last few days, a lot of stuff with exponents and everything, but i got to be honest, I still have people who, are, who just took the test on chapter 12 of Math C, which is two classes beyond you at this, at this point exactly, and they're still making mistakes on this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remedy this right now so that if you ever take me at Math C, you won't make this mistake. A lot of people will look at this problem and do this. Do you see how they're getting that? A lot of people will give me that. A lot of, some of you are in this classroom because of mistakes like that. Okay, Be, because you might have had this class before, but you kept doing things like this over and over again. We're going to fix that right now. I need you to understand what 3y plus 1 squared actually means. What's that squared actually mean? Ah. So let's look. I'm going to hold this on the board. We're going to see if it's right. So would you agree that 3y plus 1 squared actually means this times that? Let's work that out because we know how to do it now. Well, 3y times 3y plus 3y times 1 plus 1 times 3y plus 1 times 1. Can you follow me on where those things are coming from? I've just done a work I've done a little quickly, but can you see where those that distribution is is coming from? You sure? Guys up here, yes? No? Okay. Hey, what's 3y times 3y? So far it looks the same, doesn't it? But this gives you what? And this gives you and this gives you Look what happens. Look, you get the first thing right, and you get the last thing right, but doing it this way completely omits those middle terms, and that's a big problem. Because when I add these together, I get 9y squared plus, how much is it? 6y. Not squared, 6y plus 1. Remember, you're adding, you're not doing anything with those exponents, 6y. So what's the difference between those two? Besides one's right and one's wrong. Uh, this one has the 6y and that one doesn't. This one for sure is right because we just worked it out and this one's not. So can you just square this and square that? No. Can you? No. Really? Was that right? No. Can I just square this and square that? No. No, you have to actually distribute it. Try this for me one time. Be careful because I have a minus there. Okay, you're going to have to look at that as you're on the, the second part of your problem. Be careful. That's why I crossed that one out. This one's right. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing though because guys, this is why this is why I made you learn those exponent rules so well, or, or try to, because 
this looks a lot like an exponent rule you just had, doesn't it? We don't want to solve that like that in a certain, like a different math problem, or no? This is the only way you can do that. That's it. So it looks very similar to some things we just had. You've got to be very aware of what each one of those specific problems mean. We'll do that one in just a second. Okay, first thing, ladies and gentlemen, can you just square 6x and this minus 1? No. No. What do I do have to do? Make it a problem. i, I got to write it out. Yeah, i got to understand that this actually means 6x minus 1. Yeah, times itself. That's all it means. That's what any square means. It means something times itself. x squared means x times x, right? So 6x minus 1 squared means exactly that, itself. When I multiply, you should have on your paper 6x times 6x. Yes? yes? Okay, watch carefully. Watch on the board with these minuses. You've got 6x times negative 1. That should be minus 6x times 1. Do you see where the minus is coming from? Then you have negative 1 times 6x, that's a minus 1 times 6x. Yes, no? Mm -hmm. Lastly, it's a biggie. <clears throat> negative 1 times negative, what's a negative 1 times a negative 1? A plus 1 times 1. Okay, show of hands, how many people have that down? Oh, if you've got that, you've got this stuff down. Okay, you understand the concept. If you got it that far, you're golden on distribution, you understand exactly what to do. So congratulations, you got it. We work it out step by step, you get 36x squared minus 6x minus 6x and plus 1 or plus 2? 1. one. 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 You're multiplying them. So 36x squared minus 12x plus 1 and you are done with that problem. You can't do anything more. Do you feel okay on what we've talked about so far? Yeah. Alright, now, can you extend the concept a little bit further? What if we don't just have two terms times two terms? What if we have two terms times three terms? Can we still do it? Yep. Yes. The concept of distribution still applies. It says take however many terms you have in the first one times however many terms you have in the second one and just keep distributing. So FOIL isn't exactly going to work because FOIL means first, outside, inside, last. We've got several insides, right? So it's kind of like FOIL. <coughs> oil. we got like FOIL oil going on. So First and then outsides, insides, and all that stuff going on. Basically, the idea is take everything here, multiply by everything here. That's the idea. So can you tell me, uh, can extend this concept, what's the first thing I'm going to multiply? Let's go kind of quickly through this. 4x times x squared. So 4x times x squared. Very good. Then what? 4x times negative So plus or minus? Minus. Minus. Keep going. Uh-huh. Plus times Good. Where'd the negative go? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. I've already used it. Then what? 4x times 3. Good, good. Plus, like it, 4x times 3. This just did this first term times all three of those ones. Do you see where that came from? Yeah. I'm done with the first term, now I move to the second term. Positive 2 times positive x is positive 2 times x squared. Then am I going to have a plus or minus, folks? Minus. minus. Good, good. Because I have a positive times a negative, that means a... 2x times 6x. 2 times 6x. You still sure you're okay? Mm -hmm. let's, see, let's see if we got it. We got 1, 2, 3. That's these three. Then we got 2 times x squared. Yep. We got 2 times negative 6x. Use the signs for you. That's a minus 2 times 6x.